Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another fun episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Oh, I don't know whether you guys think it's fun. I think it's fun. I know a couple of people out there watching think it's fun. So we're just going to say it's fun. <laughs> Today we've got the Death Star Escape. One of the cinema scenes from 1997. Yeah. Um, so yeah, featuring Han Solo and Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise. Unique poses for these figures as well as Chewbacca. Uh, yeah, slight, you know modern day we'd call them a retool um because for the most part this this chewy is the same just different arms uh, i think the head might be slightly different too speculating to not be the case unfortunately i don't have the backdrop or the base i haven't come across that in the unpacking of my collection but um we talk about figures most of, mostly anyway, so it's all good. We're, we're going to crank on and talk about these figures for a little bit. Now, this is something that I don't think has been replicated since. Nothing that springs to mind. Um, I would love to see stuff like the cinema scenes make a little bit of a return, um, particularly with some modern figures in TVC, just to, you know, maybe another chance to repack some figures that haven't been out for a little while. I think it would make... A great addition, a little bit of nostalgia as well with these cinema scenes. Um, obviously, Chewie here being a favourite of mine, the the Power of the Force Chewie, the regular one was one of the first figures I ever had as a kid, and still to this day is a nostalgic favourite of mine. So yeah, still still sort of jacked up, beefed up. I do not recall whether I, I, believe, I think I bought this in the box only, you know, within the last five to ten years, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, his cuffs are removable. Interestingly, it's just like a plain chain, <laughs> like, like it's sculpted to look like a, just a regular chain, which is funny, but... But yeah, that sort of sits on, slips on their wrist. I don't think I've actually taken that off, so that's a first. That's cool. Now, as for Luke and Han, Han was originally only re released as part of like a Kellogg's dealer from memory. I haven't done my research. Um, but to get Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise, I believe that it was a Kellogg's cereal. Uh, thing in the US. I'm not sure about here in Australia. Um, obviously, it was a slightly different version. This one sort of sculpted to sort of have them sort of hustling him along like, you know, come on. So they've both got their arms sort of out like so in order to escort Chewie into the uh, into the prison cell. If we can get him to stand, that'd be great. So yeah, I think Han Solo, that was the the only other way to get him was through that serial promotion. So um, I'm pretty sure the Luke came out on a single card. Again, we'll take a look again because he's different as well. I uh, could be wrong. I don't think he actually came with this weapon. Um, I'm still sort of piecing together. I've got a little stack of Power of the Force weapons. You know, they stand out because they're huge. Um, so I do need to marry them up with the correct figures. I was just sort of got a pile of them there a lot of figures without weapons um and this guy just got this one for now so i do need to go through the weapons and marry them up with the correct figures at some point um that's that's a job for another day it, at, right now setting up my room it's just about figures it's just about getting them out getting them on the shelves I can do all the other stuff later but yeah this one's cool he started to yellow in the chest a little bit but a lot of the figures from the 90s have sort of done that um and I believe that's, you know, depends on the factory that they're produced in too. I believe that has a difference. Um, but given the arms and legs and he helmet are slightly uh, softer plastic than what was made for the torso, just because you had to pop those joints in, um, yeah, it's, it's just aged a little bit different. But not too fussed. But there is Han Solo. I think it looks okay. I don't think that's... 
bad head sculpt. It's a little bit chiseled, but um, you know, look at that V shape of the uh, torso. <laughs> but I've seen worse head sculpts on modern figures. But yeah, there's the helmet. Yeah, I know it's not a beautiful looking Stormtrooper helmet, but as a kid, I really didn't care. I was just happy to have a Stormtrooper. Now, I never did have these ones as kids, so to, you know, to get these, this set as an adult and have these for sort of, I still get that as a pang of nostalgia and excitement in, you know, having new figures that I had as a kid or I wanted as a kid, sorry. Um, and to get them now, it still, still gives me a little kick. So here is Luke. Again, pretty much the same size. You'd say he's a little shorter, which makes sense because he's a little short for a Stormtrooper. <laughs> so again, I'm pretty sure that's the same head that was used for some other Lukes. It looks a little bit smaller. Not as nice. <laughs> No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's unique. I'm just sort of looking over at my Power of the Force shelf now, and it's not really looking like either. I dare say this one's a little bit smaller to fit the helmet. Um, on both the figures, actually. Yeah, I reckon they're both the heads are a little bit smaller on each, just to accompany the, the, the size of the helmet. But again, I'm pretty sure a regular sort of Stormtrooper with a Luke head... And the removal helmet came on a individual card. But yeah, no, this is um yeah, one of my favourite scenes in A New Hope actually. It's probably the funniest moment when Han's having the conversation on the computer and then it finishes with the, you know, the he just gets fed up with it and blasts the console. You know, boring conversation anyway. But still cool to have. I, I do like these figures all together. If we can get them to stand. That's why I've got them on stands. Because they don't stand. Um, but yeah, they did come with like a just a sort of standard base and a cardboard backdrop of the Death Star wall. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have it just boxed away somewhere. I need to, I will need to dig that out. Because um, the only other cinema scene I have on display is my... Jedi Spirits, which I have done a review on some time ago now. You can definitely go back through my um, through my channel and find that one. Um, that one also came with a base and a backdrop. So I'd like to go back and chase down some more of the cinema scenes. Um, this was a cool ones. There was Cantina Showdown and, and there's some others. Then they continued them on into The Phantom Menace as well when that was released in 98, 99 or the toy line. But yeah, again, just a nice way to sort of get a few different variations of, of figures back out there. You know, this one would be cool. You know, we've had, you know, modern vintage collection sort of versions of Luke and Han in Stormtrooper disguises and put a Chewie in there with some existing handcuffs. You know, it could be done quite easily and put in a really cool box. It doesn't have to be a Power of the Force callback. It could just be, you know, maybe something vintage inspired to... Uh, you know, just create a little bit of excitement, get some figures back out there, um, and just do it that way. Um, you know, just to offer something a little bit different from, you know, the army builder packs and stuff like that. So anyway, just wanted to highlight this one. This is one I've been sitting on for a lot, little while. It's been at the top of my list, um, for a little bit now. So I really wanted to, really wanted to get it. Um, the cantina, obviously I did the cantina last week. Um, because that one came in, that one just got bumped to the top of the list. So, yeah, this one's been been coming. Um, but yeah, definitely got a got another little list of figures to get through uh, for the next few weeks. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe if you're interested. Checking out some cool Power of the Force two um, figures from the '90s. This is the era that I grew up in, um, and I know there are a lot of collectors out there too that have nostalgic feelings for these for these figures of the 90s. They're just so cool. Definitely a very important part of Star Wars collecting history. And um, I'm gonna do my best to document this on a weekly weekly video until 
I can, you know, maybe in a couple of years finish it up. All right, folks, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you the next week for another Power of the Force Fridays. Stay tuned to my channel for more content throughout the week. And uh, yeah, see you then. May the Force be with you always.